you know i'm laughing because it's so it, it's such a layersness of what wwe can do to get somebody over man man last night um for a wwe monday night raw man we seen another desperate attempt to get the big dog roman reigns over now now now, now, now people gonna be like I'm not a woman rain tater. I'll tell you guys how it is. If I like something, if I like something, I'll, 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 I will tell you. If I don't like something, I'm going to tell you. And I don't like woman rights. It's not, it's not that I don't want him to be at WrestleMania. He, he deserves to be at WrestleMania. But the spot he is in, the main event at WrestleMania, when Braun Strowman has no direction, and they're actually putting Braun Strowman in the tag team division, single-handedly, by the way, guys. Single-handedly, by the way, because they have no plans for him. None at all. There's a, there's a such thing that the Universal Championship match is disappointing because a guy that most of the fans, most of the fans, that does, that does not want in the main event is in the main event. Because Vince McMahon loves him. And Vince McMahon loves him. So tonight, they pulled the suspension angle with Roman Reigns. Vince McMahon um, suspends Roman Reigns for the rest of the night. Because Roman said that Lester is his boy. No, Roman. You're Vince's boy. Because you're you're the one that Vince has been shoving down our throats for four years. Yes. I'm saying it. Don't come to me talking about... How I am a Roman Reigns hater. I'm not a Roman Reigns hater. I'm telling you guys like it is. And most people. Most people does not want to see this guy in the main event of WrestleMania. Most of you guys will agree with me. Most of you guys will agree with me. It was Braun Strowman or Samoa Joe's time. It's not Roman Reigns time. Strowman and Lester should have had 15 minutes. That's a legit WrestleMania match for WrestleMania 34. They should have done a triple threat match. If, they, if this was a triple threat match. Then yes. Yes, I will accept it because there's a possibility that Roman Reigns or Braun Strowman could win the Universal Championship. And if you want Roman Reigns to win the Universal Championship, he can pin Braun Strowman and keep Lester with his hot streak. But um, Lester is basically going to basically has ran through the entire Raw roster except Roman Reigns. He has beaten Samoa Joe, Braun Strowman, Randy Orton, etc. In his 2017 reign of him, he will hold the Universal Championship for a year at WrestleMania 34. We'll, we'll make a year that Brock Lesnar has been Universal Champion, which only wrestled in seven matches last year total. I believe I believe it was six or seven. Probably less than that. I Probably less than that. And then Roman Reigns, a couple, probably maybe two or three spears, is going to beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 34 and win the Universal Championship. What do you do after WrestleMania with Roman Reigns? Roman Reigns just took all of them with all that momentum that Brock Lesnar had with the Samoa Joes, the the the, the, the Braun Strowman beating these guys in 15 minutes, the SummerSlam figure the four way beating those three guys. I mean Survivor Series with AJ Styles beating the WWE champion. He gonna take all that momentum and give it to Roman Reigns. What else? What else does Roman Reigns have to do? Roman, the, the only thing that got intriguing is Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. Because Reigns hasn't fought those guys in a good minute. Those that, That's the only thing they have left in treatment for Roman Reigns. And Roman is that Seth Rollins is supposed to be fighting Roman Reigns. That Roman Reigns uh, it's supposed to be Roman Reigns' first feud after WrestleMania. At, at least I hope. I hope he is. I really, really do. This is just a lame excuse to get this guy over and it's not working. I'm just telling you guys it's not working. I remember that when we're on the scene... This uh this this stuff only happened the first the first uh match first thing in first thing on the show because after this we didn't see Roman Reigns for the rest of the night I always wanted to get that off my chest guys just saying I'm not a Roman hater I don't I don't I don't hate Roman Reigns I just don't like the position that he's in I don't think he is ready to be the the guy he's not the guy if 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 he was a heel then boy oh boy I would be like yes yes you got you got him at the right time but he's a he he's a baby face. And he's not going to get over. I mark my words. 80,000 people will boo Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 34. Half of that arena will boo him. I'm telling you. People will not boo Brock Lesnar. 
They will not. I'm not going to boo Brock Lesnar. I'm, I'm going to trip a Brock Lesnar. I hope that's because we, 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 we want to hope that Brock Lesnar take this guy to Suplex City and New Orleans, Louisiana, and the Big Easy. F5 this boy. Get, get him all by TVs. So we're going to so we're gonna, we're gonna shift for Brock and our woman rings. Mark my words. I'm telling you. I'm telling you guys now. There you go. That's my thoughts on the, that's, that's my thoughts on the opening segment. Sasha Banks versus Sonya Neville to kick things off with in ring and television. I really did not care about this matchup that much. Um, the only thing I cared about is what they're doing with Bailey and Sasha Banks. After the match, Banks defeated Sonya Neville. But after the match, uh, Bailey took care of her pulling. Uh, okay, so uh, Bailey had helped um, Sasha win. After the match, Bailey hit to the back, leaving Banks suitable to a beat down by Amp Solution, who stood tall to close out the segment. Again, they're building that. Bailey leaving Sasha Banks again for the second straight week in a row. I'm telling y'all, a Bailey heel turn is coming. I'm I'm telling y'all, Bailey with turn heel Sasha Banks will be a baby face at WrestleMania. Mark my words. Here we have Miss TV featuring Finn Balor and Seth Rollins. I actually really enjoyed this segment. I actually really enjoyed this segment. Mister Miz and Mister Rogers is not with him tonight because they will have the opportunity to cash their ticket to WrestleMania. Later in the night, and that is with that tag team battle royal, which we'll go over in a second. He wanted to claim that despite eventually he will defeat Finn Balor and Seth Rollins at WrestleMania, which I hope he doesn't. I hope Seth Rollins wins the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania, or or you can have Finn Balor win it and then put Rollins against Roman Reigns after WrestleMania. I will not mind that neither. And clear the final hurdle between him and the record for being for the longest Intercontinental Championship reign of all time. Good Lord. Miz is about to be the longest man in the continental champion of all time. I hope I, I hope Rollins and Bowling wins the title for real. Please. Bone number one drew enormous possible WWE Universe. Miz, the mass manipulator, reminded fans of Balor will mo, mo, monu, oh, Miz reminded fans of Balor monumental victory over Seth Rollins for the Universe Championship. I forgot, I forgot what I put in my notes there. The situation developed into a conference in one of the The baby faces realized the Miz, what Miz was trying to do. The kind of championship, kind of championship was clear from the ring, but Rollins put the exclamation point on his segment with Anita Balor lining the Irishman out to close the segment. I really, really enjoyed that. They brought our past tense. To, um, you know, it, it actually gives Penn Balor and Seth Rollins being they hate, they hate each other in this match because, you know, Rollins could still have bad blood over what happened at SummerSlam because him him losing the Universal Championship. And, you know, that uh, that makes that match up very, very intriguing. What is before the schedule match between the bar and the Mr. Ross, which, which, which was scheduled um, to to um, to, to be a tag team match? The um, the team that tag team man right hit the ring and un, uh, the, the, uh, before the matchup could start, the tag team man right hit the ring and unloaded on Sheamus and Cesaro. The Raw Tag Team Champions escape as the appears watched from the ring, clearly not fitting with the Loud Mount and Braggadocious duo. So every tag team from Man Raw stormed the stormed the um, stormed the ring and attacked the bar. The bar um, had um, escaped the ring, and that will set up a tag team by the Royal later on in the night. Then we had John Cena's promo. Cena just went for the title. John Cena addressed the fans. Again, he brought up a match with the Undertaker and cutting a, a scattering promo about the dead man. He can't Undertaker is the only person to keep in the match between them and them at WrestleMania from happening. He claimed Undertaker buried his head in the sand because he is a coward. Ooh. Yeah, he, John Cena actually uh, sounded like a heel, heel, and I really, really enjoyed it. It, 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 it was great. I'm telling y'all, heel John Cena. When that happens, guys, I'm telling you guys, that will be the that will be the best. I uh, that will be the best I've seen John Cena, hands down, point blank and period. He was to call him a uh, egomaniac and only cares about himself. And and where did he looks bad? Ooh, and you know, I kind of. Got it. Uh, that kind of that kind of is a little little bit of realism because Undertaker did state that he he does not want to over overstay his time. He said that he said that in the WWE Network special. Yes, the point when the promo was a knockoff. Undertaker posting workout videos on White Michelle McCool's Instagram account. Former ended with Cena saying if if he were the Undertaker, he would want one more match at WrestleMania. So it's looking like um this will probably be a um I'm 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 at least. To spice things up, could be a career versus career match, but I don't think it's going to be. I think I, I think WWE setting up John Cena to retire the Undertaker. That's uh, boy, that's gonna be ooh, ooh. Can you can, can you imagine that if that happens? If Cena be the last one to defeat the Undertaker at WrestleMania, but it's looking like 
Undertaker will probably win this match at WrestleMania and get his win back and ride up to the sunset as a winner. That's what I hope happens um, in the end. And we had Strowman, uh, Braun Strowman's warning and Elias' downfall. And we got the introduction of the Japan Department and the Symphony of Destruction against Braun Strowman. Elias continues to play an audience they saw despite the obviously battered body. Frustrated on the unwinner base of the fence, it was their fault and walked off. The camera cuts backstage with Braun Strowman standing angry over his, over, over his lack of WrestleMania match. Strowman vowed to cause chaos and make his own path to the pay-per-view. Now, I, now, I did like what they did with Braun Strowman here, you know. Let him let him cause chaos and create his own path to WrestleMania. I really, really like that one. Then after that, we have Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins. These two fought because I be, they have history. You know, Rollins had um, said that Finn Balor didn't deserve to. He beaten a broken down Miz. He got the history from um, SummerSlam of 2016 when Finn Balor beating Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship. Balor has got the up on Rollins for a long time, and and they continued here. Balor uh, hit. The, B Balor defeated Seth Rollins here, one in the middle of the ring, one, two, three, and this was not a bad match at all. I really, really enjoyed it. One of my favorite matches of the night. Then Charlie Caruso interviews Oscar. Oscar, um, uh, he, 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 he Oscar reveals why she challenged Seth, um, uh, Charlotte Flair for the Raw Women's Championship. I actually hit the wrong button, your own folks. My iPad's glitching out now. Oh goodness. Come on, no, no, give me, give me back to Safari. Jesus Christ. And then Mickey James came out after that in, in a match between Mickey James and Oscar was said, this was just a, uh, a, a very, very decent match surprisingly, and I really, really enjoyed this one, Mickey, Mickey James, um, Oscar put the Oscar lock on the future Hall of Famer and went on by our business. After that, Nia Jax and John Kong, a I think a a enhancement talent or whatever they got here, a jobber, had came out to the ring and Nia Jax defeated them um, very 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 easily. And then um, I, then I did then I love what they did with Bliss and Nia Jax uh, in the room with, with their promo after it was very very hot and intense because. Cause, Cause that is the rumor. That is the rumor. WrestleMania match is gonna be rumored. That's gonna be Nia Jax taking on Alexa Bliss, and, and for right now, I can see that. I, I can see that happening. Or Mickey James could take that spot as well. Then we had the um, tag team battle royal to, to determine a number one contender for the Bars Tag Team Championships at WrestleMania. Braun Strowman. Um, Really, really just took out all these guys in the ring. He defeated Titus Worldwide, the Revival. He stayed in Rhino and Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. I really thought the Revival was going to win this match because I want to see Revival versus the Bar. But apparently, WWE had other plans. And now, Braun Strowman is single-handedly heading to WrestleMania by himself with no tag team partner. Who, 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 who's going to be his tag team partner? We have no idea. All we know is that Braun Strowman is heading to WrestleMania. Um, I really... Don't get it. Get don't get the decision to put Braun Strowman in the tag team division. I think he should have fought Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. But that's that's just me though. But they put him in the tag team division. At least he's having something to do at WrestleMania. But again, I asked the question: Who's gonna team with Braun Strowman? Again, how are you gonna give two tag team titles to Braun Strowman without a tag team partner? WWE, WWE has a lot of, has a lot to think about and, and, and a lot to clear up. And now. What is Elias going to be doing at WrestleMania? Or is, is Elias going to win the, 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 Andre, the Andre the Giant uh, is it Royal Battle Royal? He, he's a good pick to win it. I don't know, folks. I really don't know. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of Man I Raw and Roman Reigns and, and, and that Roman Reigns segment with Kurt Angle and Vince McMahon. I hope y'all enjoy. I'm Coltrane. I'm about to get out of here. See y'all in the next video. Peace.